David and I am here so that I can teach you and we learn together environmental activities okay and our topic today is tools at home tools at home okay I want you to look here on my board okay and then you tell me do you know any kind of any tool here do you have these items at home okay now i want us to learn about them we know their names and then the work we usually use with it okay good let's start with the first picture which tool is this it is a panga can you say panga good one of the tools that you find at home is a panga. What do we use? You use this panga to do what? Good. We usually use a panga to cut small sticks. When you are building, you want sticks to build something like a toy or a small house or other activity we usually use with small sticks. So the work of a panga is cutting small sticks. Okay? Good. We have another tool at home and we call it axe. Okay? An axe, we usually use an axe for cutting logs. Okay? And these logs, when we are cutting those logs, and I want you to show you, here, I have a person who is using an axe, this one, okay? He is cutting a log, and we usually use this log to put it in a fire, to light a fire in our rooms to keep the room warm when it is cold. You can go, you take this log, you light the fire, and then the room will be warm. So that is the work of an axe, is to cut logs. Okay? Very good. Still, we have another tool here. Look at it. What is this? Yes, Mary, it is a djembe. Okay? Aha, uh -huh. we have somebody here who is using a djembe. Look at that girl. Is it a girl or a mama? Aha, uh -huh. what is she doing? She is digging holes. Okay? And still, he is removing weeds from a garden where she end up planting cabbages. Okay, so that this cabbage or this cabbage is just to grow and so that it can be mm -hmm, like this. A farmer must use a, a djembe to remove what? Some weeds. Still we usually use a djembe when we want to, okay, just take care of our flower gardens. Okay, to remove those weeds from flower gardens, we usually use a djembe. Even when you want to plant those flowers in a place where it's like, okay, we use a djembe to dig some holes. When you dig those holes, then you take your plant or you take your flower, you plant it very well like that, okay? So the work of a djembe is digging holes and removing weeds on our flower beds and in the farm. Good. Let's see another tool. Okay. Uh-huh. What about, uh, let's look. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know what is this? It is a hammer. 
it is a it is a hammer in your home do you have a hammer who do you use when you're driving nails we usually use a hammer i have a very beautiful picture here of this little boy driving nails in a wood i think this person wants to make a stool and now he must use wood and nails and and use even a, a hammer because he wants to do what with the go go here and the dun, dun, like that okay yes driving nails we use a hammer to drive the nails when we are making these like stools something else table uh-huh doors yes and we, who usually use this this tool a carpenter a carpenter usually use a hammer to drive nails wonderful i want us to look here another thing that we can see here we have a rake okay a rake what do you use a rake for tell me aha good when we have a lot of litter in your in your compound if your compound is dirty and you want to clean uh, to clean it and uh, some of it it's have a lot of big big litters that you cannot you don't go just collecting with your hands the dirty things in your compound you usually use a rake like this man can you see this boy this boy is cleaning the compound but he is using a rake to put those unwanted what leaves together and then he will collect them and throw them in a dustbin or where where else aha uh -huh. good can you look at this boy he is using a a rake can you say rake good mostly we use it when we are want to clean the compound aha uh -huh. what else can you see here we have a saw we have a saw and this one is used by a carpenter when he wants to cut a wood when he is making or she is making a table a table is used is made of there are those tables that are used they, they are made of wood and now he usually or she do what cut a carpenter usually cut using a a so can you see it very good boys and girls and still we have something else here we call it what watering can we call it watering can and this one i want to show you a good picture of a person using a watering can you can see a farmer or even you if you want plants to grow you have to water them if you want flowers to grow you have to water them so what do we do we go to that a tap where there is water or a tank and then we put water inside watering can and then we go with it to a flower bed or in the farm and then we water our plants or flowers like this man is watering what flowers that is the work of we use the watering can to do what to water plants okay that's wonderful still we have other tools there are very many there are very many tools we have shears this one they usually we use them when we are pruning what flowers to make them look nice okay very good still we have something beautiful here we have what yes what is this boy doing using a broom cleaning the compound 
Aha, still we have something else. What is the our auntie doing here or a mom? Mopping the house using a mop. Okay, good. Another person here using what? Wheelbarrow. Okay, yes, we usually carry heavy things using a wheelbarrow. So those are tools that are found at home. Can you see them? So make sure that you tell mommy to show you all the tools we use at home. An activity for you, we have tools and the things that we do using those tools. So take this book, go to page 37 and then you match the tool we it use okay that is the activity the lesson is over